Um, I want to thank all of you for being part of this session. I really, really appreciate you taking the time to do this. I hope that you've been able to get a lot out of the symposium in general as well. And, uh, you know, I think at this point, Dan, we may be close to wrapping up the symposium because this is the last session, right? Yeah. So could I uh, pass it over to you then? Yes, yes you question? may. Yes, okay. you may. Let me right. let me just uh, also uh, join you in thanking uh, the presenters uh, and and the and the discussants for for just an absolutely delightful conversation. Again, one more time, inspirational. A lot of great insights and some uh, provocative things to think about. But uh, I can't thank uh, each of you enough for both your participation and and mostly for for the for the the contributions and accomplishments that you've made to the profession of engineering. And uh, you are the wonderful uh, spokespeople and, and ambassadors for uh, all things that relate to, uh, I think, uh, the values and the, and, the, and the real quality of, of, uh, of, of professional engineering, um, but also uh, the way in which uh, you en have engaged with the National Science Foundation uh, to, uh, to see some of these extraordinary results. So, so thank you, Lewis. And, and uh, again, uh, great, uh, great panel. And uh, thank you for your leadership and, and, and making it not just useful, but relevant. And I think uh, also uh, um, will contribute greatly to the work of our panel, as you well uh, know, uh, in, in, uh, in really taking on these issues and, and uh, putting, a, putting a little bit of a punctuation point on all these on all the great things that we've heard about over the last couple of days. So over the last two days, uh, this symposium has tried to highlight how engineering research and practice have led to um, positive societal and economic impacts and to examine how investments in engineering education research, careers, and institutions by the National Science Foundation has helped catalyze all of those impacts. We've heard from history and policy experts on how the NSF evolved and how its funding of engineering research and education have come to, cons to consider the societal impacts of the work. Then some of the best minds in engineering shared their, story, shared their stories about how they brought and importantly are still bringing extraordinary advances that affect our everyday lives into being. Others spoke about the pivotal role that engineering research centers and other support mechanisms have in making engineering education, career development, and technological and infrastructural innovations possible. Uh, we've crossed several disciplines, biomedical, chemical, civil, computer, electrical, industrial, materials, mechanical, rehabilitation, engineering, just to name a couple, a few of them, and a number of others that I think uh, are also allowing us to identify the different paths that people have taken on their way uh, to pursuing these uh, extraordinary accomplishments. And many spoke of how NSF support is increasingly inclusive uh, and, and opportunities for people and groups who have been underrepresented in, in upper, underrepresented in the engineering profession to take advantage of those. Uh, clearly, we can do better, we can do a lot more, but all in all, uh, quite a bit of work has already been accomplished and we're very, very, um, uh, I think, uh, appropriate to celebrate and to point that out. All in all, we've had an eventful, informative, inspiring set of talks and discussions, and the committee will use these insights as they prepare their report on extraordinary engineering impacts on society, a report that we hope to have uh, released in, in uh, the next, in the coming year, in 2023. In the meantime, I'll, I'll like to briefly remind you all that uh, we will post the links to these videos uh, of all of the symposium talks and the roundtable discussions to the web in the next few weeks. Um, and you'll see those on the web page that you're viewing right now. If you registered for the symposium, we'll also send you an email when they are available to alert you that they are there. Um, thank you again. Uh, to all the speakers and discussants for all of your contributions to, techno to technology, education, and society, and for giving us so much to think about. And with that, I'll adjourn the second day of our workshop and ask you all to stay tuned for what is our next steps in the, uh, in the work of our panel uh, to really uh, solidify and to take uh, the, the, um, the input that we've gotten over the last couple of days and memorial that, memorialize that in a, uh, in a report that'll come out next year. So with all that, uh, thanks again, and uh, have a great, have a great weekend, everyone. <laughs>